Hey guys, welcome back to Tennisshare. Our colleague had his iPhone 13 Pro screen go completely white and flashing, and he wasn't sure what to do. If you're facing this too, don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, we'll try some simple steps to get that screen back to normal without a trip to the repair shop. Let's dive in. The white screen might be due to software glitches, a system crash after an update, or even a minor drop. So if this is a system issue, we can fix it without paying for a hardware repair. Our first fix is a force restart. To do this, click the volume up button, then the volume down, and finally hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. This will restart your iPhone and may bring it back to normal. Sometimes, a white screen is just a temporary software glitch and restarting can help reset things. But if you don't see the Apple logo, we need to try another method. If the white screen is still there, it might be the hardware is not fully compatible with iOS. Let's try updating iOS using iTunes or Finder. They are similar to use. Connect your device to a computer and open iTunes. After this, you need to enter recovery mode on your phone. The process is similar to a force restart, but you need to hold the side button longer until it gets into the computer screen. But your iPhone may show the white screen again, so just keep pressing it until iTunes detected your phone is in the recovery mode, and it will prompt you to update or restore. Choose update to reinstall iOS without losing your data. This is a reliable way to fix many system glitches. If this can't help, or your phone is in the latest firmware and it can't be update, and you don't want to restore your phone with iTunes, you can use Reiboot to do a system repair without data loss. This award-winning tool is designed to fix multiple iOS issues, including the iPhone white screen issue. You can fix it without data loss. I'll put the download link for you guys to try. After downloaded and opened Reiboot, you can connect your phone and choose System Repair. Choose Standard Repair to avoid data loss and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the process. This tool will download the correct firmware and repair your device's iOS system without any data loss. If your phone has the problem after upgrading to iOS 18, you can also use Reiboot to downgrade your phone to iOS 17. Once complete, your iPhone should be back to normal and all your data will remain intact. You can now use your apps, view your photos and enjoy a fully functional screen again. If these can't help, it may be hardware damage. If none of the software fixes work, it might be a hardware issue. For a low cost option, if your iPhone might be exposed to moisture, you can try placing it in a container of dry rice for 24 hours to help draw out any moisture. However, if the problem persists, the best solution is to contact Apple support for a proper diagnosis. They can check if it's a hardware defect. So visit Apple's website to set up an appointment or get further assistance. Okay, hope now you fix the green screen issue on your iPhone. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more iPhone tips and fixes. Enjoy your device and thanks for watching.